got any tips you could give to people for the general public watching about their training and nutrition? Things you could advise them to uh, stay focused and get good results? Yeah, you know, um, you know, life's a marathon. It's not, it's not a sprint. There's no quick fix to a long-term situation. And when it comes down to any endeavor, whatever's it, whatever it starts out, and then however it ends up, it's what's in your mind and how you see it. Whatever the truth is, your perception on how you see that truth outweighs it 10 to 1. So it's a motivation and why you're doing it. You know, it's, it, it, in the journey of getting in shape, it's a long, long run, right? But what, 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 the person who's standing at the end with their hand raised isn't the person with all the genetics. It isn't the person with the most potential. It's the person that has the greatest perseverance. That's always willing to get out. The difference between a champion and a, and a loser is that the, you know, they both fail. It's that the loser allows the failure to stand for life. With a champion, even though he gets knocked on his ass, finds he tells fortitude to stand back up, reface that endeavor until it becomes his favor, until he wins. That's the difference. Champions get back up and do it again. And the difference between someone that's successful here or someone that's a spectator here is that a person that's successful, you know, they believe in themselves so much, and their belief overrides any crowd's disbelief. So, obviously, that work ethic is what's led you to be, it's fair to say, the world's most successful cover model, right? Yeah. And uh, where, where did you so, so you're in the armed forces, right? Did you hone all this, uh, this extreme focus, this dedication, this consistency? No. Is that the place you, you say you honed that, or has it always been within you to do? Well, you know, I was born in the right atmosphere, you know. I was blessed to be around a very competitive family that, that, that supported me and loved me, you know. So, I was, I, that's where it all started. And then the military tested it, you know, and so I became battle tested there. And then in the in sports arena, I got tested further, you know, and I failed a million times. I just kept getting up and kept getting up, you know. And so, you know, that's the greatest thing about success. If you win success right off the bat, you don't learn anything. Your real truth in learning is a failure. And when you go after an endeavor and you fall on your ass and you fail, and then you get back up and you reface it, and then you become successful, that's some sweet victory right there. That builds a confidence and un unyielding willpower that anything out there is within your control. So all these things in life, even the failures, create who you are today. You know, so therefore you can apply what you've learned in the past to make the best judgment in the future course of action. You know, and it, you know, and it doesn't matter if you win or lose it. It really doesn't. It just matters if you apply and you go for it, you know? As long as you're learning, right? Yeah, you know, and I can teach you whatever, you know, but when you go out there and you try it yourself and you fall flat in your face, that's where you learn it the most. Because the next time when you fall, you learn to catch yourself. And that's the lesson you never forget. So everyone wants to war game it, man. Everyone wants to sit back and what is. And before they start their journey, they want to plan it out and war game it, war game it. Just get going, man. Get going. You're learning along the way. And some people want to be a fitness model. So they're trying to figure out all the fitness model stuff to be a fitness model. But you just fall in love with the passion. Like that guys who haven't built a physique first and they're worrying about, what do I do with salt on, show, on shoot day? Like, got to build a physique first, it's, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's dead on, man. They're making it more complicated than it has to be. I know a lot of people that started out to be a fitness model, but that wasn't their real passion. But they didn't know until they started it. And now that like the photographer, the editor, or an actor coming out to LA, that now is a great producer or a director, you don't know what the field is. Just get going and figure it out, you know? And then the truth will surface. You know, action causes reaction, you know? If you stand still in a sedative state, you know, if you're a pond, you know, and it's sedative, what grows in there is algae. You know, mosquitoes, no one wants that. But if you have a current, you know, a fountain or something, it's like an oasis. People want to come and look at it. Your life has to be moving the same way. Somebody told me recently that dogs don't bark at parked cars. You know, when people, <laughs> yeah. you know, when people are afraid to get going because of what people will say. And that really stuck with me. I think that's a real good outlook on things. Yeah. But it's been, it's been unreal today. I know we're rushed, but I'd love to sit here and talk to you all day, Greg, because, yeah. you know, your physique's awesome, your passion, your like, zest for life, your drive, it's really inspiring. So hopefully the guys today watching, they've got some of that. They've got a little bit of Greg Plitz drive, and they can be inspired cool, man, by cool. that. Cool, Speaking about dogs and parked cars, man. Yeah. Another little metaphor in dogs, man. It's not the dog in the fight that matters, it's the fight in the dog that matters. Same with you. It's not your genetics or your potential, it's how bad do you want it, you know? So, awesome. cool, man. Well, thank you, Greg. Thanks for right, Master Body Power. Oh, that's awesome. Man.